Okay, let's go ahead and start with the Adam Family Challenge. Um, that's a challenge to help you uh, be more comfortable with rounding the number of the atomic mass in order to find the number of neutrons in an element. So let's just do a quick review over here. Uh, the atomic number is the number of protons, also the number of electrons, because the number of electrons will be the same number of protons if an element is uh, neutral, okay? Now, to find the number of neutrons, we're going to subtract the atomic mass minus the number of protons. In this case, to find the atomic mass, we add the number of protons and the number of neutrons together. So it depends on what, inform what information we want to find. Uh, if you're rounding up, if it's 0.5 or higher, you go ahead and round it, round it up to the higher number. So 2.5 is going to go to 3, 2.8 is going to go to 3, 2.9724 is going to go to 3. Okay, so you look at the first number after the decimal point. If it's 5 or higher, it's going to be rounded to the next whole number. So 5 or more, let it soar. 5 or more, it's going to go up. If it's 4 or less, you just let it rest and make it go down to the number that it's already there. So 2.1 goes back to 2, 2.2 goes back to 2, 2.3 goes back to 2, and 2.4 goes back to 2. So if it's 4 or lower, you round it down. So let's look at this example. We have 9.009. The number, the next, the number next to the decimal point, the next number after the decimal point is 0. So we're going to go ahead and round it down, and it's going to become 9. In this case, we have 234.7. The number next after the decimal point is 7 is bigger than 5, so it's going to be rounded up. So it's going to become 235. 234.7 becomes 235. We have 0 0.299. So the number after the decimal point is 2 which is smaller than 5, so we round it down and it becomes 0. 4.299, same thing, 2 after the decimal point, smaller than 5, round it down, becomes 4. Now 4.599, 5 is after the decimal point, 5 or higher, it goes up, it rounds up, and then it becomes 5. We're going to use 5 for this 4.599. So oxygen. Oxygen. We have atomic number of 8, atomic mass of 16 because it's 15.999. 9 is higher than 5, so we round it up to 16. So that's the atomic mass. The number of protons is going to be 8. The number of neutrons is going to be the atomic mass minus the protons, which is also 8 and the number of electrons matches the number of protons, which is 8.